Alright, welcome back to Dark Cloud. Let's do some dungeon hunting. Let's go to floor two. Cat. A mystical cat that can go through walls. All right, sorry if I didn't explain some of the items before. That's anti uh, drink, helps from poison. Water, which you can tell here, once you get water is uh, really important because if you get dehydrated, you start losing a lot of your health. And then there's bread, which obviously, you know, food, health. A circle button locks on. Oh crap, got poisoned. Oh, there's a water pond nearby, that's good. Got a map. Okay, thought poison was bad luck, but it looks like this is actually a really good start. Premium water. Now that is a rare find. Whoa. Get off me, Tubbs. They're trying to hit my shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's got to be the luckiest thing ever. Get the crest. Get a map. Have water right next by. <laughs> yeah, obviously, if you know it from the last video. On the map, there's like this little yellow, you know, like doorway up there, up to the top. That means that's where the next level is. Obviously, water means where the water is. You know, et cetera, et cetera. You know what the map does? It shows the map. You can get this black crystal later, which will actually show you where all the treasure chests and uh, enemies are on the map, which can sometimes be very helpful, especially when you want to get all the outla and you, and you already got the crest and you, you know, you don't have any more repair powder and you need to get out, but you want to get all the outlet before you leave. It's really useful. Another bat. Bats are annoying as hell. Oh, gaffer. There's a lot of people in here. Oh no. Ooh. You hold X button, you do a charge move, which ends up doing a slam. Ooh, there we go. Nice combo. Now yeah, this damn bat. Yeah, got his bitch ass. Alright, if I, yeah, the WHPs are your weapon durability, which have 21 uh, or 27 out of 51. The bar underneath the vit is actually the bar you could use to upgrade your weapons. Which you can't see it on this weapon, but when a future like weapon comes up, which the only way to get bigger weapons is you need to fight a huge chest. It'd be like these normal chests, but set like, you know, as tall as me. It'd be a big chest. Ooh, powder up powder. Wow, that's a really good floor. That'd make this floor better as some oil or big chest. There's the crystal I was talking about. Now you can see, see look, red dots are enemies, green are atla, and brown are the chest, of course. Ooh, a throbbing cherry. If you have tram oil, you can actually go on those things, which you end up leading you to a back room where there's special goodies, but there's a lot tougher monsters back there. So be well prepared before you go back there.
if you actually have Dran's wing on you, you actually run like 30 miles an hour through this dungeon. Ooh, heading back at the right time. Look at my water. Whew. See, I'll show you. Let me run out of water real quick. Getting thirsty. Need water or will begin to affect your health. See, yellow door. I plan on showing you guys most of the story and everything. But when it comes to farming, I'm probably just going to do a time lapse because sometimes you need to, you know, upgrade weapons or something. You go re back, go through the same places you've been. And trust me, it can be boring just killing the same enemies over and over again. Okay, it's about to break. And make sure you don't upgrade, because that power-up powder right below, you'll accidentally use it. And trust me, you want to save that for later, in case you're trying to build up something and you need powder fast. It kind of cuts down the farming. Ooh, Claude's house. Funny enough, Claude, or Cl Cloud, however you say his name, he actually can give you multiple different types of gifts when you finish building his house. It depends on what time you go. The best time I've seen, I think, is probably the afternoon. Because at night time, he's usually in the shower and he gives you a piece of soap. Which soap is... Oh, there's a giant chest I was talking about. This is actually a great core. That surprises me. Usually my luck shit. It's like, here, here's a bone. I'm going to give you all this good shit right at the beginning. And even a big chest. A barbell. Oh, that's that barbell macho once. Paige's house. I have not played this in a very long time. All right. Let's see what type of trap it is. Most likely is probably going to be a curse. It was poison. Oh shit, maybe I should have picked. Ooh, uh, some, a uh, Sam Shear. All right, Let's see, can't show you on this weapon, but on this weapon, you actually at the bottom, it says build up. You click on it, see the whatever's in red is what you need, attack, endurance, um, I think that might be magic. I'm not sure what MP stands for. You know, ice, wind, holy, beast, undead killer, and I I cannot remember what that other one is. Let's see. Yeah, magic power and anti-metal. Alright. Curse, obviously, if you played most RPGs, you know what it does. It just makes you where you can't equip different weapons. Poison self-explanatory too, you keep getting damaged over time. Explosion, well that's the most, I mean you don't have to know an RPG to know what an explosion is. It just hurts. Here's a little tip, if you push square, you can actually get the key up to the top instead of having to search through it when you get a huge inventory later on. At the beginning you want to leave constantly. Cause you're gonna need a lot of repair powder and stuff, and which the old ma the old mayor he gives you a lot of it. All right. Let's 
let's see he gives me gives you your items you come here cool things you can use all the items wow did you give me extra or did I have extra talk to him again they give you another repair powder actually I need some and we'll wait on that all right let's see let's see let's see what the other weapon does eight twenty oh yeah that's that's definitely not bad 32 wpm uh, that's not it's not it's not the greatest but you know what you gonna do weapon hit point that's what it stands for abs absorption of magical power <laughs> okay Oh yeah, don't forget to check in here. I think it's when you complete the village, but I know you get a gourd, which a gourd is used to make your water go higher, which is very important. Especially if you want to be in dungeons for a long time. We'll come back, um, do a lot of the town. I'll explain that in a later episode. Actually, to tell you the truth, I'm back. Exciting, eh? Don't give me that look. This is for your benefit. Now, here is the immediate course. I won't repeat myself, so listen carefully. First is the lock-on. You already knew that pressing circle button locks onto the monster. Red target frame will appear around the enemy for as long as they are locked on. However, you may not have known that L1 and R1 functions change during lock-on. Pressing L1 during lock-on switches the lock-on to another enemy. Pressing L1 repeatedly will cycle through these enemy in the field of view. Next, pressing R1 buttons activate your guard. Guarding allows you to defend against enemies. Don't forget the guard function. It can save you in the heat of battle. Also break the shit out of your weapons. Don't forget about that too. It doesn't tell you you hold guard up and they hit it. It takes durability out of your weapon, which Tell you what, enough hits and that son of a bitch is broken. You're gonna be pissed off. You're gonna be like, fuck you and your guard. Also, did you know about the attribute change function in your weapons? This can change the elemental at attributes. Shake out, guys, later. There are five attributes fire, ice, thunder, wind, holy. Many monsters are vulnerable to a specific attribute. Yes, they are. To a weapons attribute, use the attribute or customize command in that weapons menu to change it, it there. Of course, you cannot activate attributes unless you have weapon that has points for the attribute. What do you think, easy, huh? Don't you want to fry a noodle, so... Don't want to fry your noodle, so that's enough info for this time. Good luck, you boy. See you soon enough. Well, I will see you guys in the next episode.